that was a real uh, novelty for us and we hadn't planned to do this project at all but he, uh, he came on the back of a, a dance film program uh, which we organize as part of what we do because yes. we have different public spaces where we use uh, either the cafes or the foyers of uh, different different buildings and we place either projection or um, monitors on which we show uh, a selection of dance film and uh, it's ongoing all year long across eight to ten venues t during the year and every quarter, every three months I receive a new selection. Uh, so as I was doing my selection I came across a film that's called uh, Boombox and it was a complete surprise and I did find it really addictive and starting to laugh so then my team said what are you doing and I said just come and see this thing and we were all watching it and getting more and more engrossed in it and the, the principle is really simple this person is filming himself in a for a hundred day consecutive day in a different location in a public space dancing he's not a professional dancer at all but it, it's just a sheer pleasure of dancing freely anywhere he wanted basically and the last uh, the last scene is him dancing in a sort of nightclub it's a student bar with all his friends going completely wild. And so I contacted him because I was really keen to contact to, to show that film. Because everything else we were showing was made by professional dancers and and for me it was really refreshing to also have this film which for me was really a dance film. It was about someone just sharing that that sense of freedom and just the pleasure of letting go. And he was very flattered because this film had been showed in uh, various prestigious art galleries in the United States. We had never been selected in a dance festival. And what I found out when I, or dance organization. So, and what I found out when I spoke to him, it was so meaningful to him that he wanted to be a dancer. But he was coming from a Korean fa uh, family that immigrated to the US, quite strict, conventional, and saying, no, you're a boy, you don't dance. So it was shaped into another, kind of career and he still worked in the arts as a designer and all this but dance was just a, a no-go for him but he still loved dancing so for him making that film was a really was actually quite a strong statement and uh, and it was really relevant for him to have been selected by migrations and then on the back of the because I love the concept so so much and I, I thought it was so empowering for people that I contacted him again saying you know what how would you feel if we use the concepts that you've developed, but instead of having just one person in plenty of different locations, we work with a hundred different people, and we ask them to use a, a location in this particular area, which means home for them, and and to dance to their favorite song. But for the last scene, we'd like to bring you from New York in that tiny village <laughs> where we where our office is based, and this is kind of sort of nightclub bar. And we'll bring all the participants to do the last scene with you. And he said yes, which was like, oh my goodness, he's accepted. We thought he's going to go, you're completely mad. Um, I don't have time to come all the way to the middle of it. nowhere in North Wales to do, to do this project. But no, he, he loved the concept so much that uh, he came. <laughs> and, um, and so we started uh, the project and started to recruit people. That was incredibly difficult. For several things, because people just were like, what is this thing you, you're doing, or extremely shy, saying, I don't want to dance in the front of a camera, I'm not a professional, and we really had to say, no, but we don't want professional. There's a few professional in the film, but the sunny out of a hundred is like four or five, but we not have the professional dancers, this is not what we're looking at. It's about, you imagine yourself, you put the music really loud in your kitchen, there's no one there, and you let go. That's what it is. Do you do that? Yes. Well, there you go. That's what we want to capture, but we want you to choose the location that means home to you. Whether it's a back garden, whether it's the top of a mountain, that's, uh, that's, that's what we're looking for. So it took a huge amount of work and persuasion to actually get people to take part. But we did get there and we got people from six years old, I think, all the way to 70 years old involve a complete different background and uh, and they all they all had a huge amount of love for this area a huge pride for it because it's extremely beautiful it's also very isolated 
and uh, and that really brought people together. So it wasn't just people from one village; it's actually people from the whole uh, the whole county, or people who had connection with that uh, with that area, and. Um, we brought them together to show them the first of uh, when we first did uh, the first editing of the of the film. So 99 scenes, and straight after that we filmed the last scene with Eli Kim, the artist who did the original project together. And the uh, the atmosphere was so completely incredible. I don't think we had anticipated what it would actually create among among people, but it really created a huge sense of community. And because because the news picked up on it, and it was on the on the national news in Wales at prime time, suddenly everyone was seeing their friends <laughs> saying, oh, "Are you involved with that thing? That's that thing." I sort of didn't want to be involved in and realize how beautiful and wonderful it was. But it was also when I was just shopping in a, in my local uh, little supermarket, I could hear people talking about it as well, and uh, it created an, a, a huge connection. But talking of to people afterwards as well, it creates a super strong sense of empowerment. Yeah, it's just so, 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 so powerful what it did, but giving people a really strong sense of freedom. Because uh, people don't dance in the public space just voluntarily. They, because you, it's just not allowed, but it's only not allowed in your head. No one stops you from doing it. It's just, it's just yourself. So for them to realize this as well, that they could actually do that was a big change and then what we realized is it had even more impact than that because we started to contact film festival and the film got selected internationally to have lost count of to how many festival it was showed but everywhere all the the reaction from either the juries or the panel who selected all the audiences was so 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 powerful and that's something again we had not anticipated we hoped we hoped it would achieve this but Somehow, so that oh, if they don't have connection with the people of the area or that region, can it work? Because it's so f focused on that particular place, and and no, there was something really universal, and everyone, even the people that didn't had not take part, were saying there's such strong sense of freedom and empowerment that I really, want to, I just want to go and dance now somewhere in my favorite location, basically.